Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended family. I hope y'all had a blessed, safe weekend. Make sure you took time out for yourself because self-care is very important because when we're out here trying to save the world, have to make sure we still have, you know, some energy to be able to take care of ourselves. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching your, my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just up tell me about your impact, the gift, how it impacted your life, and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you feel like the videos are very informative to you or just give you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times and need spiritual guidance or need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And, um... Uh, today, my my uh, background meditation music I'm using today is called Get Rid of Energy Blocks. Blessings, healings from the universe. Raise positive energy vibration. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Help is why people fear who they want to be, uh, they want to become because they are too attached to who they've been. It is, you know what, it's sad, but it's true at times. You know, I heard this on a motivational speaker, one of the other people that has inspired me to be a motivational speaker. I think her name is Yolanda Miles. And she went through a lot of things, you know, struggling um, in life in uh, California and stuff like that. And she said that, and I mean, it took me back and tears just bolted down because it is so true. A lot of times when we are evolving into being a different person, a lot of times we have gone through life of struggle, gone through life of darkness, mishap, confusions. And that's why God allows us to be able to make those traumatizing experiences or these things that happen to our life. You know, so when we finally do go through that spiritual awakening, it's allowing us, you know, it's a spiritual awakening. You're actually opening your eyes we've been blind walking around for so long and then when we finally see it we get, we're getting that rough sight of how the world evolves how people can be towards each other just how life in general can be very scary very dark and it's just allowing you to be able to see things for what they truly are and a lot of times it can affect us in so many ways it's probably already affected us down that path but with us awakening into our empathy of being able to be that raw person is just like you know a person that has gotten you know seriously burned and they're finally just scraping off all that dead skin is like oh god bless anybody who had to go through that um and it's just like when you're going through that you know it gives you that that all the rough you know all that you know tender skin is finally being able to heal is is brushed away all the you know the uh the dead skin and all that other stuff you know i hate being able to give an analogy like that but that's how life is you know we had to go through those bumps and bruises we had to be able to get burned a few times and then you have to go through a, a massive you know shock in your life to be able to allow you to see things in a totally different way but a lot of times god is allowing these certain things to be able to to impact us in our life like that so we can be able to rip away the things that are no longer there no longer needed it's like okay you had these things now it's time for you to drop them off mold yourself into the person you choose to be you know it's just like with my life it, it was hard for me <laughs> being able to know that somebody altered my life to where they wanted them to be you know it was bad enough it is i was adopted so it's like you know knowing my true black background even though it was like it, it kept coming out every now and then but it was always shut down you know i wasn't able to express myself the way i wanted to being able to say the things that i knew that was true that my family tried to cover up and say it was a lie you know i had to go through all that it, it was like mistaking identity except it wasn't a mistaken identity it's somebody allowed my identity to be how they choose to be it and it's like now going through all those situations it was a shock to find out who I was you know even though I knew I never fit in in the first place 
going through all those different things, it was very traumatizing for me. You know, being able to sit in myself and being able to say, this is the person they made you to be is not the person that you are. You know, I was always guided towards people or guided towards things that I really didn't feel comfortable with. And I just took it just to be able to do it, you know, just to, you know, shut people up. It wasn't thinking about my happiness, you know, being able to cater towards somebody else's needs and let mine be stuck in the shadow. And it's like now, you know, I struggle with that because I was so used to being a certain person for everybody else. And now it's just like the hell with that. I'm going to be the person I want to be. You know, I have to be able to put up boundaries, you know, and a lot of people might make that, you know, especially with the woman. I feel like, oh, she's being bitchy. No, it's not. You have to be able to have boundaries for yourself. You have to have your priorities at first. You know, you can be able to help others, but you have to be able to set boundaries for yourself. And I've had to do that. You know, there's a lot of times that things just happen in my life where I've been taken advantage of. You know, I, somebody was always being chosen over me. That was my life story. Now I pick me. You know, regardless of what anybody else do for me, I got to pick me. You know, I have to make sure myself is okay. And it took me a long time to be able to do that. I struggled with my own identity because other people wanted to lie and cover up what my true identity was. Now it's just like bump that, you know, it was a scary situation to open up and tell people who I was related to because I was worrying about, you know, were they really going to see me for who I was or, you know, just for the fact is they're being infatuated with the person my dad is. They don't want to be able to see that in me as well. You know, I used to get really upset you know especially when I you know when I was talking to other family members and they understood what I was talking about I said people love my dad you know they really did they idolized him and then when you find out that he has fabric that was cut from the same cloth as him they didn't want to accept me you know I was hated I was frowned upon and it was just like dad you said you love my dad but you don't like me or you don't want to believe it you know and I had to be able to stop you know, trying to prove a point with other people about saying who I was, you know, it's me, I'm me, you know, and it's just like, I never wanted to be in my dad's shadow and saying, oh, this is Prince's daughter, whatever, you know, I had to be able to make my life how I wanted it. You know, my dad is always, you know, I used to get freaked out about it, you know, because I always run from that. And he was like, why do you run from that? Because I say you're you. And he was like, I'm still dad, but it's like others see me as this celebrity. You should just see me as who I am. And it was like really hard for me to do that when I wasn't able to, you know, I was, he was always pushed aside, you know, he always wanted to be in my life. He was always in the shadows watching me and it was like always running from him. You know, even when we were in my dreams, you know, I would always tend to run from him when, you know, that, that connection was cut off when I couldn't express myself anytime it came to him. You know, I always wanted to, you know, sing like my dad, you know, play the piano like my dad. And it was just like, my mom wanted me to be able to encourage to do that, but she wasn't aware when she was around, I got very punished. You know, I got punished a lot just for emulating anything of my dad's. So it was just like now I had to go through all these spiritual awakenings, you know, all these dark marks of the soul and all these ascensions for me to be able to come who I am. You know, my dad's always like, you know, tell me, branch out, you know, do these things, do the things that scare you the most. And, you know, he's always pushing me to get out there, you know, because he wants me to be able to be that person. He feels that I'm more free when I do that. And I'm glad he's done that. You know, I tell him every day. And I tell them, you know, metaphysically, I'm glad you were there. You're my best friend regardless. You know, you couldn't be in my life. You know, he was my best friend and being able to support me and all these different things. You know, and it was hurtful when I was feeling scared because of the person I was becoming because I didn't know that person. And he was like, it's okay. This is the person you've always meant to be. You know, you were always chastised for trying to be that person. So it's like when you have been something for so long, and then you're 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 migrating out of that. You have to be able to, you know, just because things worked for you and you carried on so long being that person, like you know, Miss Miles said, you know, going through all those different things, you know, people are like, Well, I've been doing this for years. And he's like, Okay, if that works for you. But you know, it just made you me mediocre, only it gave you that limitation. But if you branch out to be something that you have never you know, you're, you're venturing out to see the unknown. You're, you're stepping out, you know, 
when you can't see where it's leading you to. That's the most scariest thing we can do. It's like we fear that. We fear the unknown. We fear our confidence. We fear how far it will go. And that's okay. That's where the adventure start, you know, starts in. The adventure is supposed to be scary. It's supposed to be exciting. You know, you don't want to keep doing something you already know how, you know, it's just like you're watching a rerun of a movie. You know, you if you already know how it's going to end, how fun is it going to be? Because you already had those experiences. You already knew, you know, this person was going to do this person or, you know, this person's going to die off. And, you know, this person's going to beat this person. You already understand that. But a lot of times we fear that because we don't know where it's going to take us. We don't know if we're going to fall. We're going to make mistakes, but that's okay. You learn through all those mistakes. You learn through all those failures. You learn from falling on your face and being able to get back up. That's when you know you're carrying your strength on. So don't allow the things how you used to heal on how you used to get through things or how you used to cope with things. I hate using that word cope. I mean, that's why I'm like deal. Because it's like when you cope with things, it's like you're putting a band-aid on a broken leg. You already know it's not going to work. So you have to be able to branch out and be something you have never done. And that's a lot of times you find your adventure in things that you truly are scared of doing. You know, it's just like when I feel like doing this, I'll do this. When I feel like doing that, I do that. You know, but I try to push myself out to do a lot more things that you know scare me that challenges me so it's just like yeah it's uncertain yes it can be scary but that's okay that's where the adventure starts in you know it's just like when I think about the unknown it's like the movie Goonies if you I mean if you you're around my age you know what the movie Goonies is is you know the, the little you know that little scary thing that look like from the toxic Avenger you know talking about Rocky Road you know that little scary thing but then them kids I, don't, I forgot what they were doing trying to find gold treasures or whatever but they went on this crazy adventure adventure you know and you know it was like indiana jones and the temple of doom all those different things are coming into your life allow yourself to branch out be able to event adventure towards the unknown being able to go out on these different adventures being able to experience things just so you can be that great storyteller from when you finally heal on the places that you needed to heal at and be able to become the people that you know, you never thought you'll be able to become, but give yourself that chance. Don't ever sit up here and put a leash on yourself because you don't understand or, you know, you don't know where it's leading you. You know, spirit guides telling you, you know, go a little bit harder, go a little bit harder, but don't think negative, think possible, trust in yourself, believe in yourself, believe in us. You know, a lot of times we don't do that. We don't take that confidence within ourselves and, you know, we don't have faith in the universe, but you have to understand, you know, if universe is telling you put things down and go this different route you know they're they have they already know where it's going to take you at but you won't understand where it's taking you but you have you can never question that you know and a lot of times we do so allow yourself to be able to adventure and find that new chapter in your life that is ready to be written you know you never know how the story is going to end until you give it a chance so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video and I'm going to go ahead and give a post notification out to Buttercup. I hope you're feeling well. Uh, much love to you. Remember, like and subscribe. Go ahead and drop a, you know, drop a comment so I can go ahead and give you a post notification on my, uh, on my videos. And Keisha as well. I hope everything goes good for you. And much love and many blessings and encouragement as well. And, you know, drop a line so I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out give me a thumbs up share subscribe and hit that notification bell I hope you have a blessed prosperous uh, beginning of the week and I hope everything in this week is you know brings you joy and excitement <laughs> and give you the strength to be able to get through it as well so I will see you on my next video know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and I hope that you have a blessed week and make sure you send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are you know there's you're truly blessed and I know I just said that but I'm gonna say it again but you know send out some you know positivity towards people you never know how far it's going to get you and get them as well and i'll see you on my next video <laughs> much love peace